What's up guys, this is Michael coming at you from Belleville, Illinois. Finally, another video. I am here at this abandoned Olympic restaurant. I can't remember exactly when it closed. I just know I ate here a couple of times. Um, they had really good food. It closed because it moved to Swansea. It, had, it was under a different name. It's now called Olympica, I believe. It's located in Swansea. And it's not that far from here. It's about two miles. About somewhere around two to four miles. And this place hasn't really changed. It still looks the same. But hey, let's go check this place out. And here it is. An abandoned Olympic restaurant. Here's the sign completely gone. The place is for sale and for lease. The thing that I really liked about this restaurant is that it had a, um, uh, a little area where you could buy desserts. And I thought that was really cool. Got a lock on the handle. <laughs> I mean, you can mainly just see the lobby area. Scared me. Let's see what you can see here. Uh, can't see much, but it's mainly all you can see. Anyway, moving on. And you can see a little bit in there, not much. I'm sad that this place is gone. At least it moved to a new location, but I kind of like this location better. There, you can see a little bit in there. Not much, though. All right, moving on. That up a little bit. All the seating is still inside. Moving on. Oh, guys, I yesterday I traveled up to Kansas City, Kansas, because we had to go deliver some pizza boxes to a Domino's store because my dad works for Domino's, and he wanted us to go with him. And holy crap, holy crap. Oh, never mind. There's a lock on it. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, there's not. Oh, shoot. Oh, it just leads into this room. It doesn't lead to the restaurant. Damn it. <laughs> oh, man. That's something I get inside. But anyway, we went up to Kansas City, Kansas, right? And literally right down the street, there was a king. And I didn't even see that guy. <laughs> There's no guy in here. Almost. Moving on. Okay, back to what I was saying. We went up to Kansas City, Kansas, and my dad told me there was a Kmart up there. I looked up the street, it was on State Avenue, and it said it was open. And then I saw the big K sign. Like, right when I got to the Domino's, I saw the big K sign. I'm like, oh my God, it's right there. I was gonna do a non-closing Kmart tour. And then when I got there, when we went past it, and then we went, when we got to the building, it was closed. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. It said online it was open. <sighs> yeah, GR Griffin from GRM Adventures. Um, I said I commented that I'm visiting a non-closing Kmart in Kansas City, Kansas. Uh, well, never mind, man. I swore it said online it was open. And it turns out it's not. And when we passed it, it was closed. The logo was still up and everything. And the line sign wasn't even blacked out. Store was blocked. Yeah, it was. Alrighty. Have you guys one more look on the inside? Check out this. <laughs> That's cool. Give you guys one more look. It's mainly all you can see. Alright guys, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be going to another abandoned place somewhere over there and I'll explain more about the situation of the Kmart. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye everyone.